Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to a new series on the channel. Now, obviously, as you guys probably know, uh, Leeds have recently survived relegation. Uh, I'm not sure by how many points, but it was it came down to the last day of the season. So obviously, I, uh, I thought it'd be cool to do a career mode on them. Um, FIFA's, well I was going to say FIFA's coming to its end, but it's really not, is it? We've still got a few months left in this game. But this will probably be the last FIFA series I do in uh, on this FIFA. Uh, depending, I might do another one. Depends how much I play this one. Um, who should we go for? <clears throat> I think we go in this one. Um, just a quick heads up now. I have rearranged the Premier League. So it's hopefully an accurate representation of what the... Uh, of what the the Premier League is going to look like next season. So we've got Nottingham Forest in there. We've got Fulham and we've got Bournemouth. Nottingham Forest are winning at the moment in the uh, in the playoff final against Huddersfield. I really do hope that they, you know, obviously I don't really care who wins, but for the sense of this, I kind of want Nottingham Forest to win now. They're one nil up because of uh, because of an own goal. I think it's like the seventieth minute now. It may be eightieth. Um, but yeah, we're just going to cut straight ahead. I also have randomized, not randomized, but like moved around a couple of the teams from the from the groups. I also switched in the Premier League teams that got it this year. Um, so yeah, I've kind of tried to implement a little bit more uh, of a realism or a little bit more of a realism aspect. An okay team, there are certainly a few players we want to get rid of off the bat. But I'm going to kind of rearrange this team and I'll come back to you guys once I've uh, figured that out. Okay, so I think I've got somewhat of a team that I'm happy with. Wait, maybe we switch out. No, I think this is probably going to be the best team we can go with at the moment for sure. Um, there are certainly some players I want to sell. Like the likes of Bamford I'd quite like to get rid of and offload. So I think we do that quickly after... We go ahead and see. Please be a good one. A centimid. That's perfect. And you can play CDM. He's six foot three. Wow. Okay. Let's see. His his shooting's quite good. That's interesting. Who do we have at Cam? I guess we promote the senior team regardless. Um, <clears throat> we have Rodrigo at Cam. I suppose we could. Do something like this. What rating is he? Oh, he's only 61 rated. Okay. Maybe not quite yet, but we will do think about doing something semi similar to that, I suppose. Um This kind of works, but I kinda wanna see Dan James up front if we can afford to do so. Okay, so we have a few players that we uh we're interested in signing, but I am gonna sim past these because obviously we need to scout them. Please win against PSV. Okay. Feel like we can win this very nice okay mm. that's gonna be a hard one please win oh we lost on penalties oh uh, you know like if we'd have lost just normally i'd be fine oh got some transfer offers a swap deal or a fallback interesting you know what i'm wondering here right i want to know what uh what potent firstly what potential that fullback has because what i'm thinking is could he potentially be a replacement for ailing um we already you know that means dan james can play left mid he can stay at his left mid position um we can bring in a striker this guy who's younger than ailing can replace ailing because they're pretty much the same rating let's be honest here um and then we can sign the, the striker and there's no one out of position or anything. So arguably, I don't know what... He has 84 potential, right? So I think we negotiate this deal. And I think if we can get a good deal from here, it's totally worth it. But it's all about whether we get a good deal or not. Right, let's see. Yeah, no, I think if anything, they've offered us one of the only players... I really want... I don't want to be offering them. Mm -hmm. We probably could have gotten four for it. But yeah, I think that's a good deal. It's it's not, you know, not the greatest deal out there. But I think it's an okay deal, judging 
circumstance with us getting rid of a player that we don't necessarily need. I know he's got 84 potential, but personally, I'd rather uh, I'd rather have someone like this in the team. Absolutely, 91 pace. Are you kidding? That is a deal and a half in my eyes. I know we probably could have gotten more, but we got you know what some somewhat of a decent player. I'm. You know what? What I think we're going to do is we're going to discuss it with, um, we'll tr see what type of money they want for him. I'm going to straight offer them 35 million. 58. Now I'm going to offer them, we'll offer them 40. See, these guys think they're slick, but they ain't getting that much for him. There you go, they've dropped it about 10 million. I think we can get them for even lower. 45 million. With Tammy Abraham, is that a bad deal? I'm still not 100% sure. You know, he's good. Don't get me wrong, he's good. But do I want to bring him in rather than someone else? I mean, it fits the team, right? It does fit the team. Go ahead and sign Mr. Uh, Abraham. I think it's a bit of a questionable one because I don't usually get along with tall, slow strike. Well, he's not slow, but you know, not the not the fastest, obviously. He's happy to sign a five-year contract. I can, yeah, I can agree with that. And I think we offer him a. You no, know, we'll go. We'll, we'll we'll be a bit generous here. I think we offer him a. £75,000 a week contract, just to stop him from questioning it in the future, you know, getting annoyed in the future. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a player that I think we can, uh, we can add to our team and he'll make a difference, I'm sure. So, put him up front like that. He's obviously not really gelled with the team enough yet. But, um... More than happy for him to be a part of it. And we will bring in this man over here. Um, Ailing's on his way out of the club, I'm pretty certain now. Centre-backs-wise, I think we'll, we should be okay. They're not the fastest, obviously, but I think we should be okay. Dallas is happy with playing CDM. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I think everyone's happy in their position. I'm going to put a few uh, development plans on players. So uh, the likes of Tammy Abraham will be receiving probably something to boost his pace. You know what? I think this, it's not, probably not the smartest move with our money. But I think for the sake of having like a little bit of extra depth, um, I think we should sign him because he shouldn't be too expensive. I think we'll probably get him for three million. No, we are not, we're not, we're not doing that. Okay. 3 million. I'll take that for my matter. Um, he is 33, so he's aging, obviously. Not not the most beneficial thing uh, from our perspective. But you know what? For 3 million, that might get us him for a season. Maybe two. Um, let's see if he'll take a two-year deal. He will take a two-year deal. Um, remove bonus. Yeah, we'll go with that. Cool. Okay. You know what? I think judging... You know, we were in need of a little bit of depth. Only cost us three million. We weren't really looking to make any more signings um, beyond this. Is Bamford being sold? I can't remember. Is he going? Yeah, he is. So yeah, I'd say that's a probably a decent deal. Um, you can just sit there on the bench, maybe come on. But yeah, he's not terrible. He's definitely probably just a close out a game kind of player. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with that signing, just to add a little bit of quality to our depth because that's what we're lacking. I mean, we have good defensive depth, kind of, um, not particularly actually, if we think about it. But yeah, actually, I'd rather I'd rather have my youth player in there than have for sure there. Yeah, he's not really going to help us much, is he? This guy is someone we need to keep an eye on. I'm going to bring these players there, so I can kind of see them. All right, so this is our this is our team going into the first game. 
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here we are at one of the great Did they venues play? for football anywhere. Did they play less, uh, Leeds first? I swear they played Newcastle first, didn't they? Yeah, so the Newcastle game was the first game Ronaldo played in, but the... The game start before the uh, window closes. The Let's just hope for a, uh, you know, decent, decent game here. Look to avoid defeat. Um, in the Premier League. It's Manchester United up against Leeds United. Well, the atmosphere is incredible. I've not so messed with any other sliders or anything. Optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great Lovely. game to kick their campaigns off. Go on, an early chance on the break here. Now a decent position, and it's played into the center. Oh, it's good defending. And a no-nonsense clearance. Lovely defending there. The early break, not Manchester terrible United. for us. David De Gea between Rafinha. the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside. We have got a tall striker now, so you know, usually in these saves, I have a short striker, but a tall striker does allow us to have a bit of a taller or a bit more of a heading prowess, I suppose. A good box player. Let's hope he shows us all those qualities today. Long way out this. And blocked for now. He takes Go on. Aim. Oh, what a, what a goal. What a goal. That was such a, a weird way to score, but that is our well, first goal of the career so mode. And it's with Rodrigo. He cuts play, back in, takes they a touch count. and just puts it perfectly in the top corner. What a goal. Now Pogba. Oy, oh, what a finish. I gave him too much space and he took the opportunity given. I think this team really does need to work on its passing. That's another opportunity created by just our poor, uh, poor defensive and passing skills. That's good defending. Oh, what's he gone and done? Plays it back. Oh, that was never likely to that was, the keeper. <laughs> was a bit risky that, but we'll take it. Ronaldo. And back with Bruno Fernandes. And the keeper oh, Amelia. Sure there were no right, send it all on. the way up to Abraham. Oh, come on, ref. And that will do you know what? Not bad, not bad. I seem to just do the time. dumbest stuff when I'm playing career mode on, on like, record. Given him too much space. Don't let him cross this space in. Space and time for the cross. This looks more than decent. Teammate in support. Oh, and they've scored. It's a terrible way to concede. They just ran into the bottom corner and just simply tapped it away. I mean, Abraham. Abraham might have something here. That's got to be a foul, ref. No foul? Wow, to break. Rodrigo. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, what a save, De Gea. Come on, they've subbed off Pogba. Arguably one of their best players, maybe not in real life. I mean, I'm seeing a pattern emerging. Most of their good players on FIFA aren't good in real life. But... Calvin Phillips. That's a nice ball out. Crossing opportunity. One. How is he? Oh, it's gone in. It's a known goal. We'll take it. We will take it. Absolutely. Abraham applied the pressure, and the centre back just couldn't cope. Who was it? Was it? For, oh no, it was the fullback. Don't know what Wamba Saka is doing there, but we will absolutely take it. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? There we go. We'll take the point. We will absolutely take the point. A well fought point against a decent opposition. You know what? There was chances in there for us to take all three. There were chances, definitely chances in there for them to take all three. But uh, yeah, that is a brilliant start to this career mode. In the, on, in the next episode, we will start with this Everton game. But for today's episode, that's all that we're going to do. Um, we made some decent signings in today's episode. If you're around here, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good. Bye.